Tonga meeting, members of the United Nations have adopted a pact for the future. Leaders pledged to bolster multilateral cooperation and outlined 56 actions, but the agreement wasn't without objection. Mitch McCann once again has more. At the summit for the future, member states were tasked with reviving the United Nations. And to do that, an overwhelming majority voted to adopt the Pact for the Future on Sunday. The aim of it is to address reforming the United Nations to make it more representative of the 21st century. But Russia tried to derail the vote, arguing it represented Western interests. But Russia tried to derail the vote, arguing it represented Western interests. But Russia tried to derail the vote, arguing it represented Western interests. During its opportunity to address the summit on Monday, Russia said the pact wasn't fit for purpose. В итоговых версиях пакта и приложения к нему сохранились не консенсусные элементы, которые не способствуют достижению заявленных целей саммита и чреваты негативными последствиями для самих основ работы ООН. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky criticized Russia's efforts to obstruct the adoption of the pact. Zelensky, whose nation is locked in a bitter war with Russia, said it was behavior he has come to expect. The same small group of seven accomplices led by Russia has once again acted destructively, always opposing any global initiatives that strengthen the effectiveness of the UN Charter. This group has always behaved this way whenever the UN tried to do something that works for everyone's good. The United States reiterated the importance of the pact when it says it helps lead. In this pact for the future, reform has pride of place, revisionism should have no place at all. At a time of great testing for the multilateral system, that's an accomplishment we can and we must build on in the years to come. With the summit of the future finishing, the General Assembly debate will begin in the coming hours. It comes at a critical time for the United Nations, with multiple global catastrophes playing out as the annual UN meeting gets into full swing here in New York. US President Joe Biden will speak Tuesday morning local time. Mitch McCann, CNA, at the United Nations in New York. This is Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, and I want to do a quick update about a document that got passed by the United Nations this weekend called the Pact of the Future document. It's two parts, one on science and technology and one about the youth and future generations. It is quite egregious and it was done by a procedure called the silence procedure, which makes it a pact. And if no one objected, it is automatically adopted and put into the record as being completely adopted. This is the World Health Organization's runaround since our, our end around. Since they were not able to get the World Health Organization treaty passed, um, they decided to take it to the General Assembly. And it is even more egregious than what the World Health Organization was wanting to get passed. Let me just read you something really quickly about what is inside of this pact that is now being accepted by 193 nations around the world and equally open armed accepted by our current administration. Everyone, it says that this is the power structure fully digital and maximized for the control of the masses. Everyone will be expected to have a biometric digital ID that marks them not just as citizens of an individual country, but as a global citizen. So anytime you hear global citizen or anytime you hear sustainability, think that this is an egregious thing that's happening at the level of the World Health Organization and the United Nations. Um, anyone that has a dissonant opinion will be labeled as misinformation, disinformation, or malinformation, and memory hold. Perpetrators for unapproved information will be fact-checked and punished by the system, which will be operated and enforced by artificial intelligence. Punishments will include being locked out of one's bank account, being unable to make certain purchases, unable to get on an airplane, on a subway, drive on public roads. This is the future, according to, to the world's self-appointed overlords at the United Nations. These are unelected bureaucrats that are making decisions about our country, our sovereignty around the world. Nothing could be more important at this point in time than to get prepared, have water, food, digital access, 
flashlights, a, a, a way to communicate with family and friends. Now is really the time to get involved and get prepared because this is what's coming. Our Congress is sitting on its hands. There was a press conference on the 17th about this and no further action has been taken. So it's up to us to mobilize and to, to, and to go forward, uh, particularly with your local sheriffs, to get your constitutional sheriffs to say, this isn't going to be allowed in my county. Thank you very much. Take action. We've been talking about the onset of